Good morning everybody. It is 8.30 and I actually made coffee instead of tea this morning. But I brought out my Christmas mug. It says Jingle Bells. I got it at a thrift store for like $2. So, win. Bit of a busy day. It's pretty heavy with computer work, once again, um, only because I have an Etsy sale coming up and I'm trying to get everything ready for the sale. I have a lot of prints that aren't currently on my Etsy shop, so I have to, I've been, while painting and drawing, I've been trying to get those up and the sale is from the 22nd until the 2nd, I think. Yeah, the 22nd of November, which is in a few days, um, to December 2nd. And it's my first sale. So, I don't know, we'll see. But I wanted to... show you guys I got some paint in the mail and it came in I already opened it um but this is what I ordered and it is gouache so I personally have never tried gouache actually take that back I've tried it like once or twice and I remember not really being a fan of it, um, but I didn't really know how to use it. I love working with watercolor, but I don't like that watercolor doesn't layer as easily as acrylic, obviously. It's watercolor. So I wanted something kind of like in between, and I was like, you know what? Why not? So I got them. I did try them out. Um, I tried them out yesterday and I filmed me painting this, which I'll insert a little later. I just wanted to do something simple just so I can, you know, get a feel of the paint and how it is. And I, I, I like it. It's, um, it's different than what I'm used to, but I like how it's a split between you can do more watercolor things with it or you can layer it like acrylic so I do really like that um, like I was playing with this tree it's more of like a watercolor consistency but then this right here I wanted to like see how it layered and how opaque it was and some of the colors aren't super opaque which is fine um, but for the most part, I mean, I was pretty happy with it. I have, I only tried this brand, so I don't really have other brands to compare to, but it was fine. No really, no complaints. <laughs> but I put it in this cute drawer, which is very glary. I don't even know if you can tell, but it's definitely like home edit style. Also, I may have ordered a new printer, and by May I did order a new printer, and I'm very excited. It was definitely an investment, a big investment, but that's okay. Um, it's something that I need, and if you don't know, I my last video was having problems printing my photos basically the color was turning out wrong it was mainly with like greens and yellows and I was like you know what I just I need to research print I need to research printers and I need like a high quality printer so I got one and it's supposed to be here in a few days so hopefully for next vlog it will um make an appearance. That is, if it ships in time. So that's very exciting. I did a few drawing slash watercolor time lapses over the week that 
I'm going to insert now. So those are, I didn't do a lot just because I'm balancing so many things right now. Um, I'm like trying to keep up on drawing. I'm trying to post every day on Instagram. I am doing commissions for the holiday. Um, and I'm prepping for the sale that's coming up. Oh, also I am trying to revamp my Etsy. So like my, I'm going to try to pull it up. So my Etsy banner, for instance, I'm trying to take pictures of and, I mean of, I mean for, and I'm trying to redo my pictures, which I guess I can kind of show you. Let me show you. Okay, so this is my Etsy site. So I'm trying, so this is the main like product photo that I have that I'm switching all of my prints to. And right now they're kind of all over the place, as you can see. Like I've done some, but like these aren't. And then I finally, this is my banner. So I'm trying to like up, up my game, if you know what I mean. And it's just a lot of work. Like I really want to re to my logo right now it's in a square and I think I want to make it in a circle and add G-Carp designs to it somehow but I have so much going on right now that that's kind of like on the back burner oh but I want to show you the art prints from the time lapse okay so there's only three because I only did three but I did do a Christmas one. This is the Christmas one. It just says happy holidays and it's just socks on a clothesline. Little Christmas light clothespins, which I thought was cute. And then there's this one which you saw, which is the trees. Which I don't know how I feel. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this. Um, I was kind of just doing it to test out the paint. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. And then I just started this one. I haven't added any color to it yet. Just some, you know, pretty flowers. So that's all, that's all the painting I did. 
I do need to continue with this. And this, if you don't know or haven't been watching, is all of my prints that need to, they're somewhat organized, but for the most part, so they need to be scanned or they need to be cut to size. So I'm actually gonna work on this. Wish me luck. So it is much later. I moved on to tea. I work in a few hours and I've basically, oh, I put my hair up also. I've been on my computer quite a bit and I am almost done. I cut all of the prints I needed to cut. I scanned most of them. And now I just have to create the rest of the Etsy listings, which that itself takes a lot of time. But I'm almost done! I'm so excited! I need to go eat something. Oh, before I sign off on this video, I'm trying to start a TikTok. I don't know, do any of you guys have like an art TikTok or a TikTok at all? I'm trying to get on board with the TikTok train because I heard from a few people that it helps like, you know, boost sales and just grows traffic to your shop. So I'm trying to do that. So I made one. Bear with me. I'm very new to this. I made a few. And it's just not a lot of people are seeing them but that's okay so i made like a christmas one which i thought was cute right and then i did this one i was working on a commission yesterday I just kind of like my process and some music so I don't know we're trying it I don't know how long I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep it up all right well that is going to be it for this video Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I am curious if anyone is more experienced with gouache. And if so, if you have any tips for me. Because I'm, you know, I'm learning. I've only tried it a few times. I, see, I really like it. I like that it's a blend between watercolor and acrylic. So you can like water it down. You can take paint away, but you can also build, which I love. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just curious. I like playing around with different mediums, so. I don't know anything much about this brand. This is like the first brand that I've tried. So if you guys have any other suggestions of like other brands that are better or, um, or more opaque, because some of the colors aren't necessarily they don't build as well. Like the yellows, for instance, they're not super opaque. But I mean, I can live with that. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am going to go eat something really quick and I'm going to go to my day job. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!